Good morning, everybody, and good morning, Chris Rumble. Good How morning, are you? Sherry. Good, good to, to see, see you. you. As always, well, thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to come on your fine broadcast. You're very welcome, and I'm so excited. Once again, you are leading a crew of volunteers at Cares Food Pantry mm -hmm. in Pickens County. Exactly. And it is part of the Cares Complex that also houses the um, Good Samaritan we Clinic, great neighbors the over store, there, right? and store, Habitat for Humanity. Georgia Mountain Hospice, uh, so many great uh, neighbors of the ACES, yeah. and it's ACES people Foster giving Home back. for Teenagers. Oh, yep. it's just a, a great community. Pickens County is so blessed to have all of our sister organizations. Mm -hmm. Is that okay to say sister organizations? Yes, and you know what's you know what's great about that that whole complex? Most of those people are not from around here. Right. As my in laws used to mm -hmm. say, you ain't from around here, exactly. are you? And I'd say, No, I'm not. I grew up in Morningside or I grew up in College Park or no I'm not. But these are people who moved to the community and made it a better place to live. That's exactly And right. I think I love that right. about it because right. they came here as newbies and then they mm -hmm. said, we really want to blend in and make a difference in the community. And it's kind of like what's happening in Ball Ground. We are growing mm -hmm. big, big. And people are coming in and wanting to do something. And that's important. Don't just settle in, but get there and make a difference. That's right. We see that so many times. In fact, uh, um, my wife Kath and I are exactly that. You know, mm -hmm. we came here for the beauty of the mountains and we got up here and we said, wow, this is just a beautiful <laughs> community. Yeah, the yeah. people yeah. we found are. Our, How long have y'all been here? We've been here almost 18 years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, so you're still a newbie. Still a newbie. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I know this <laughs> for a, a fact. You're still a newbie. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we live in Bentry, and uh, that's also a great God place bless to you. I, yeah. I, I used to, in 1973, I drove a Grand Torino mm -hmm. to work at Bentry at the Little Club. And I would drive down that mountain, and I would hear, smell my brakes beginning to burn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But for the first 14 years or so there I lived and, and I traveled for my job, didn't really get to experience Pickens County. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's such a blessing to be the director at Cares for Pickens and uh, yeah, yeah. oh my gosh, the friends and the and the people that come in and all the people that I get to know mm -hmm. because of my position, at, you know, everywhere from, from the mayor, you know, city right. council members and, right. and the city manager and the sheriff and all that. And we're all friends at some level at least, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. they're all great partners with us as mm -hmm. well. They always right. are looking to help. So, so yeah, we were, we were very <laughs> excited to be a part of this community. And Jasper is changing and growing and progressing in so many great ways. And we've seen some of that at, uh, at uh, CARES as well. In fact, mm -hmm. I came to talk about the golf tournament, but I want to tell you something about that. You I'm do have a golf excited, tournament coming up. Very yeah. excited. Uh, yeah, the golf tournament's going to happen on um, Monday, May the 9th at the Crystal Falls Golf Club. That, And I can tell you, I've seen that place up close and personal, and it is, to me, one of the premier of anything. It's a great place. They, I mm -hmm. stopped and told the lawn care guy there the other day, I said, you are amazing. <laughs> I said, this place always looks amazing. And he said, thank you. He was kind of a little bit, you know, taken back that somebody was complimenting him, but it's gorgeous. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. We had a great tournament there With a great year. location. Yep. Yeah. And it's, it's uh, we can draw from people uh, other For than Scythe just County. County. Coming, right. yeah. I've got friends down in Conyers, Georgia, you know, that mm -hmm. drove up. Right. Because it's, it's a little bit easier to get to than if we did it at Bentry, for right. example. So, right. So we found that it was a good location for us to draw from a, from a lot of different areas. Mm -hmm. So, but I want to tell you something about it. In fact, I brought you a gift, Sherry. What would you bring brought me? Brought you a gift here. Open oh, this up. Oh, okay. And, and, and then when you open it, I'll tell you why okay. I brought it. Here. I like right. people who come bearing yeah. gifts. Yay. Oh, a mug. A mug. And it says Kindling Coffee. There's another one Friendship in there. Friendship and Fire. Yeah. How sweet. At Cares, uh, I became aware. I love that. that. Thank you. That poverty oh, I love that. isolates people. In fact, you know, one that of the so uh, cool. one of the Thank things you. that uh, that I'm I could say to you to today, yeah. I could say, hey, let's go get a cup of coffee. You know, and uh -huh. and then you would know that uh, it's more than just about caffeine. It's about sitting and connecting. Absolutely. So uh, so this cup is coffee. Up, says kindling mm -hmm. and the, uh, we have turned let me get around to why we have changed our institutional uh, coal lobby into mm -hmm. a high-end coffee shop How cool and is it's that? called kindling coffee and uh, one of those cups has a flame on it. One of them has right, a heart. Right. We're there to kindle friendship and fire. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so when our folks come in, instead of them having someone say, I hey, let's see your ID. Here's your number. Wait for your food. They, right. they hear, 
would you like a cup of coffee? And then mm -hmm. they're invited to sit and mix and mingle and connect. And we're seeing really cool things happening with people making those connections. And uh, then, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot easier for us then to connect them with a job, mm -hmm. a place mm -hmm. to live. Where, mm -hmm. Right now we have a, we have a sweet <coughs> lady who, uh, who's homeless. And wow. so she comes there every time we open the doors and she volunteers. Okay, you know, she went explain from, Chris, tell me got, homeless in Pickens County. Homeless. Tell me she's, what that means. Right. She's living in a car, okay? Wow. Yeah, and uh, or, wow. or if she what finds is a her, better place. What is her income? What is her story? Is there well, anything? Well, uh, you know, I don't know that. We okay. have counselors that, that okay. you know, deal with that, but uh, what can we I do, do to know help her? that today she's going down to the Salvation Army uh, down in Cherokee County and they are going to put her, uh, they're going to uh, place her in okay. a shelter. Okay. So we're really excited about that. Good, good. And, um, and also we are working and, and as um, to try to get her um, a place to work, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, so <coughs> what we're seeing happen is... How old is she? 40s, You know, 50s? it's hard to tell. Yeah. Probably 50, but okay. she's had a rough, rough life. So she may not, she may be younger, she may be older. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. but, uh, but we're finding that... I'm like that me, I've had such a blessed <laughs> life, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> we have to make what humor you, out of my what, age. What are you pushing forty now, Sherry? Come yeah, on, man. Yeah. I'm good. pushing it. <laughs> I buried so, it. <laughs> but the idea is that uh, we are providing a place for them because we were just talking about who how came up with this concept because that's a great concept. It just poured into my brain one day last summer, uh, and I. Uh, you know, pitched the idea to the board, and you know, began again, uh, just began to cast the vision, and then I, then I rolled up my sleeves, and mm -hmm. um, then um, uh, we were able to use some other volunteers. But really, there were two or three of us that were key to the project. I'm not a builder, but I served as like the contractor, mm -hmm. you know. And we have an amazing volunteer named Tom Bosick. He's a master builder, so mm -hmm. he uh, he he was key <coughs> to the to the project. And we're seeing some you really cool things You know what would cool be cool for happen. a coffee bar, but you can't have it. <laughs> that but is But would awesome. that not be the coolest that, coffee that bar? Really would cool. that not be the coolest really coffee cool. bar? Yeah, and you could put your creams and your different things in it. Yeah, you yep. can't have it. <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful piece. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, we have a, it's sort of an industrial uh, kind of rustic atmosphere, mm -hmm. you know, and people, and we have music and a TV with, mm -hmm. you know, Spotify I and all that. Yeah, this. Come down so and have a cool. cup of coffee Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I would love to show you, give you the tour. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Now, tell me the concept of, you, number one, we're seeing a lot of people out of work, mm -hmm. and I hate to say this, God, this is bad, by choice. Some yeah. people have chosen not to go back to work after COVID. Right. I don't understand that concept because I'm all about working, and doing, and right. getting it done. Right. But um, we're seeing a lot of people who are hurting, but at the same time, we're seeing people who could be helping themselves. Right. Have now, you seen a little bit of that? kind of address that. One of our volunteers who's very sweet, uh, she was kind of new, and she said, I need to be able to say to my to my friends, you know, what is your position on the food stamp issue? Because mm -hmm. the government is very generous right now, and she's like, and so what's wrong with that? And so I, I said, well, I can't say it's wrong, but here's what I can say. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, our our numbers are down. We we were seeing like uh, uh, oh, uh, 200 to 250 families every week mm -hmm. during COVID, and now <coughs> it's more like 150. Wow. That's a pretty big drop, mm -hmm. uh, or maybe 200. But if it's a really really busy week, so we're about 150. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, and uh, but here's the thing. Uh, our numbers are down because of the extreme generosity of food stamp. People can get whatever they want. Mm -hmm. And um, so, so why is that wrong? Well, they're not getting the encouragement, the relationship, the hug, the love that they get from a place like CARES. The government's mm -hmm. just to give them a check. Right. And, and they are going to be losing those connections <coughs> that they will need mm -hmm. when it comes to an end. Well, what if it never comes to an end? Well, I don't know. Maybe it will. Never. I can't. Can't really. Uh, Would you, know, you be surprised that, but, if uh, I told you that some people take their EBT card and trade it for half the value in drugs? I would not be surprised. Would that surprise you? Right. Yeah. And and I know facts of that and and I've mm -hmm. seen people who would say hey I've got eight hundred dollars on my EBT card if you'll give right. me three hundred dollars you can have it I need right. the three hundred dollars I would not be surprised and that is heartbreaking yeah, that because, is heartbreaking you know and there, so there is not that accountability no whereas no. when a person has to come physically 
to CARES, or if we are, you know, we, um, we also take food to their homes. Mm -hmm. But we don't just drop it off. We visit with them, we pray with them, and there's that relationship. Mm -hmm. So a person can't do that with the kind of resources they get at right. CARES because right. that is their You can't call and say, I got a box of flour and biscuit dough and da-da-da-da-da, I want to sell it to you. Nobody's going to Well, theoretically, that, yeah. I guess they could, but they're yeah. not going to have, they're not, uh, but they're not going to be able to amass <coughs> this massive cash. amount, yeah. you know. I guess theoretically, I guess that could happen, but it's going to be really hard because we know them, you know, we talk to them, we ask the questions about their life, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. we're engaged in trying them, trying to get them to the next place. Right, yeah. right. Now, most of our people are elderly and infirmed, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and, and then we have about a 5% of people that are what we call in transition. They really do need to be working, and so our role with them, as opposed to the elderly and infirm, our role with them is just to love them, mm -hmm. make sure they're okay. Mm -hmm. But the ones that are in transition, our role is to mentor them and to encourage them mm -hmm. uh, to work is available. Get, yeah, yes, get to that job yeah. and to show them that it's fun to work. You mm -hmm. know, work is joy, mm -hmm. work is power. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know that so. paycheck when when you get it. I mean, I remember one of my first big paychecks way, 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 way. Sixty-five dollars a week, and I brought home fifty-one dollars and twenty-one cents. Mm -hmm. And I realized then I couldn't live on it, so I got another job at night. Mm -hmm. And I had two jobs because once I saw that check, I knew that I needed that money. And and most people then will say, "Hey, can I get some overtime?" Most people really want to work, but there's an element mm -hmm. that right. isn't going to. Right. That's a bit sad. That is true. And I don't know if it's nature or nurture or a combination of the nurture. Com a combination of the two. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we we really. But cares work. doesn't discriminate in any way. No. You know what, no. whatever. If you, if you are in Pickens County and you have a need, mm -hmm. uh, come on, you'll get a box of food. But then what comes along with that is an, is you're now a part of our family, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we're going to get to know you, mm -hmm. and we're going to try to encourage you, uh, and so. Uh, that is what the government does not provide. Right. You know, they will not be your family. You know, uh, they will, uh, I don't want to get political, but they will give you, and then hopefully you'll give them a vote back. You mm -hmm. know? So, 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 uh, get me you know, <laughs> <laughs> no. so, uh, so, yeah. Uh, we, okay, uh, for April the 11th, let's do this April right 11th. now. Okay. April the what 11th. You okay, you know, this is my daughter gives me these little mm -hmm. things, and I choose one every day. And this is, Pretty, pretty important for today. Every man makes mistakes. They say a man who never makes mistakes never made anything else. Mm -hmm. So if you got a job, you didn't like it, two days later, you quit your job. Well, okay, you quit your job. Go get another job. Mm -hmm. Find right. another job. That's right. And then find a job that you fit into better. Go right. back to school. You know, I love when people in their 40s go back to school. Yeah. I have a friend who just got her doctorate, mm -hmm. and she's like, 49, 50, 51, just got her doctorate. You know, she raised her kids, she did what she was supposed to, now she has her doctorate. And you're like, okay. Right. She's, I guess I would qualify her as an overachiever. <laughs> but, but I think it's really cool. And I think that's something that y'all can offer at CARES. You can say, hey, we've got this entry level job mm -hmm. at, say, Dairy Queen, Burger King, mm -hmm. wherever. Right. Mm -hmm. But then management positions in fast food restaurants, mm -hmm pay very, very they well. Do. Do. And if you start there, I have, I have a young kid down in Ballground who started at McDonald's in Canton, and he's already going up the ladder. And he loves his job. And I said, he works at McDonald's for goodness sake. He doesn't even have a car to get there. He has to get a ride. But he loves his job. And I said, those are the kind of people you want to be encouraged to bring up the ladder and to help them. I used to watch him back in Conyers. He would he would be walking to Chick-fil-A to mm -hmm, work, mm -hmm. 14 or 15 years old. I would say, hey, Brad, you want to ride? No, I got it. He walked to work every day. Wow. And, and so he started there, and now he's an owner-operator. Yes. And he, I love it. And he's oh uh, traveling the world. And then, you know, <clears> just uh, what a so story. Well. Yeah. What a story. So, yeah, you got to start somewhere, and then yeah. you build up. And so that's, that's what we want. We want it. everybody that cares from the director down is on their way to to the next place. And mm -hmm. that's what we want to be about. That's the, that's the friendship and fire. We're kindling. You know, we're kindling coffee and we're kindling friendship and fire. We want, mm -hmm. uh, we, we want to stir up those friendships, those connections, those relationships. Now, what's the fire? The fire in the belly mm -hmm. of what you're here to do. Mm -hmm. If you have those things, friendship, those connections, and fire, 
good, it's a good possibility you're not going to be spending much time in the unemployment line if you don't right. want to be there. That's right. Because that right. fire is what drives you, what you get up to do, you know, whether it's whether it's taking care of your grandkids or mm -hmm. whether it's going to that that first job or yeah. whether it's uh, volunteering somewhere. We want everybody that cares to, to understand that we believe this is key to have a, a, a fun and powerful and, you know, fulfilling life, mm -hmm. to have those friendships and that fire. So right. that's what we're here to do. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about the golf, the golf tournament. Yep. Because Tell me about it. It's the second annual Trinity Custom Homes Care Spring Classic. Uh, we got and our, Trinity uh, Custom Homes they are right down here. Right down the yes, road here. and they do an amazing they, product. They do. Yes, they, yes. They do. And they are great partners, and they came through with a huge donation, and so they are our namesake sponsors again mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. It's going to be happening on uh, Monday, May the 9th. As I said, at the Crystal Falls Golf Club, we're going to have some amazing contests. Uh, you know, the closest to the pin, the longest drive, the putting contest, great prizes, and uh, and uh, there's going to be a silent auction where we're going to have an opportunity for somebody to. Uh, last year we raffled it. This year we're doing a silent auction. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's uh, it's a one week <laughs> stay at the Amelia Island Plantation Resort. Amazing place. Uh, three and a half miles of private beach, three bedrooms, two baths, oceanfront villa, and all these things to do. And you might say, well, what's the difference between a, between a raffle and a silent auction? Well, if you're going to take a vacation anyway, mm -hmm. and it's going to cost you three or four thousand mm -hmm. dollars or whatever anyway, mm -hmm. why not give that three know or four thousand dollars yep. to CARES? Yep. All that money you know goes where to that cares, money's going. That's and then right. you go and have a great vacation. <laughs> Can we uh, disclose who donated that? Oh yeah, uh, Crystal Beaver at Peak Holdings. Right. Uh, right. She and her husband own this place, right. and uh, they're the ones. And so, they have uh, been such generous givers and givers and givers to the community of Pickens oh, for man. so long. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We are yeah. so honored yeah. to have her yeah. on our board, and so yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's where that comes from. So uh, you know, we're doing great with our sponsors. We've we, we've I'd like to see. About I don't know maybe ten or twelve more sponsors. Uh, we got about a week to secure those, mm -hmm. but we need teams. We, mm -hmm. we need golfers right now more mm -hmm. than uh, you know because we want to fill this place up and have a lot of people having a lot of fun. You know, um, you know uh, Andy Hartman, right? Yes, yeah. love Andy Hartman. <laughs> and love Hartman Andy Law, Hartman. He's yes. one of our great partners. Yes, he has this golf cart that looks like some kind of a Ford. Ranger or something, uh -huh, uh -huh. and he's going to be there with his big blue golf cart going oh, around. I love it. He's going to be spreading a little happiness, if you understand what yeah, I mean. Yeah, I know you're not yeah, a drinker. Yeah, 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 <laughs> some yeah. of our golfers do enjoy a little yeah, bit yeah, of something, yeah. and he's going to be going around having some fun with his big blue uh, golf cart. And, now, uh, do y'all so, provide a meal for the golfers? Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna um, uh, we're, we have uh, got to deal with uh, Mary's bread basket. Mm -hmm. All the golfers are gonna be a nice great sandwich. She does great stuff. Yeah. And uh, and then uh, Fuego, uh, when they get off the golf course, they're gonna, there's gonna be a burrito waiting for mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And of course, we'll provide all the soft drinks and stuff that they need. Uh, for so that. come People hungry, come, come hungry, anxious to see a hungry. beautiful, beautiful course. Yeah, it's going to be oh my incredible, gosh. Yeah. incredible. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, yeah. what does it cost for a team to? Uh, it's uh, five hundred dollars for for an independent team. For a corporately sponsored team, it's six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. so we got to make a sign and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. you know? But uh, so aside from those expenses with the sign and the food, everything goes back to cares, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it actually costs us forty dollars per golfer. So, um, so you know, we have to pay that, mm -hmm. and then the food, and mm -hmm. then the signage, and then everything else. Last year, we uh, well, I don't want to say how much we raised because I've been told I shouldn't disclose those kinds of things. But, <laughs> but it was good. It was good. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> You're like me. Sometimes you say it, and you're thinking, "Why did I say that?" Before? Oh well, because <laughs> I just did. But it's going to be a fun, fun day, and uh, it's a. Uh, you know what? Cares is here to share love and mm -hmm. life's essentials. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, food, finances. Tell me how simple it could be for somebody to come in and in need. What's the time process, and what are the hours? Yeah, you're all open? they have to do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we're distributing food. Mm -hmm. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're working the warehouse and we're picking up food. Mm -hmm. But if you come, if you're in Pickens County and you come between nine and twelve, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You will find someone there to say, hey, would you like a cup of coffee? Come on in. We love you. Mm -hmm. Let's get you signed up. We have a little tablet. With a doo -doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. Boom, there it is. Just simple information. How many people are in your family? You know, get your name, address, phone number, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And you're in. And uh, from that point on, you can come and get food every seven days. Now, but every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, whether you're getting food or not, anyone mm -hmm. in our community is welcome to come in and experience what's happening at Kindling Coffee. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, 
So that's, uh, that's that, and uh, we're here to share love and life's essentials. I see the life's essentials as friends and family, mm -hmm. uh, food, mm -hmm. finances, uh, fun, there's got to be a little joy, mm -hmm. and of course that fire. What are you right. here to do? Right. What is your right. purpose? Yep. And uh, so that's it. What kind of music are you playing? Oh, it's usually God and country uh, um, type music every now and then. Have you got a CD player? Well, well no, we've got a, got a, we've got a smart you TV got the, yeah, I with the to Spotify, say you got the, yes, so we can pick yes, any. Like yes, sometimes yeah, on Fridays yeah, we'll put yeah. on the... Uh, the oldies and the goodies, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. I love that kind of music. Yeah, yeah. And, but it's usually like praise and. So it makes you feel time. good. It's just it a great, good, great place to feel makes, good. It makes you feel comfortable where you can talk, you know. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's the, that's the coffee shop. <laughs> and uh, we do, we're, we're so grateful for all of our partners out there. Thank you so much. And uh, the, 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 the golf tournament is, uh, again, Monday, May the 9th, Crystal Falls Golf Club. It's mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Well, it's a lot of friends, mm -hmm. have a lot of fun, raise a lot of money, mm -hmm. they help a lot of people. Mm -hmm. That's so, awesome. Uh, That's yeah. awesome. Now, is there a way they can connect with you? What's yes. the best way? Yes. Please go to our website, caresforpickens.com, okay. and you'll get all the information about anything we've talked about. You can sign up for the golf tournament there. If you're interested in the golf tournament, you can call me directly. My cell number, you want to know my yes, cell number? Yes, absolutely. 770 617 8381. Call me and let's uh, get you signed up. It'll be awesome. Yep, there you go. And mm -hmm. again, don't forget Trinity Homes is just down the road. Trinity from here. Custom Homes, yep. Care Spring Class, second annual. <clears throat> yeah, go see them and uh, they will hook you up with that house. And you've got a meeting to go to. I do. I'm We're going to get him out of here. Yeah. We're going to get him out of here. We're going to take a commercial break and I got to remind you, please remind our sponsors from Farmers Insurance, who's been with us for a long, long time, Georgia Medical Treatment Center, a long time. And don't forget, you could be a sponsor too. So pick up the phone and call me at 404-375-0590. And you do know that after we do our programs here, they go to YouTube and we have YouTube channels full of things and we have one um, thing, it's a special that we did here at ETC, has had 92,000 hits in a month and it is a really cool product that features Loretta Lynn's old home place, Hurricane Mills. If you don't have plans for the Easter week, get out and take a trip up to Tennessee, go up I-40, just follow the truckers because that's the truckers route and go up and enjoy yourself, get out and, and just go somewhere. Take a daycation, a staycation, spend the night, but just get out and enjoy. There's so much beauty within three to four hours of where we live. And often we forget those places. You know, we don't go to the places that are close by. We fly here, fly there. And it, you know, get out and just enjoy Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama, the Florida coast, somewhere close to home. So, and, and this Amelia Island trip, you need to sign up and uh, make your mark on that one. There you that go. would be awesome. That would be <laughs> awesome. Okay, we're going to take a commercial break. I'll be right back. for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. 
Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Welcome back. Well, one of my favorite things about this job is connecting with you and our community. And I connected you many years ago with some wonderful ladies called Angel Spirit. And I just got a message and um, I want to ask y'all to please pray some extra prayers for Selena today. And um, I'm going to tell you how I feel about today. I want you to pray extra prayers for Selena because life's greatest thrill is tomorrow and tomorrow the sun will come up again and things will be better 
and we hope that her labs will come back a little bit better because they had to postpone today's chemo. But that doesn't mean anything except that God is going to get her stronger before the next chemo. So remember this. Amen. Life's greatest thrill is tomorrow. So Selena, you be Selena strong and you be ready for tomorrow. And I want to remind y'all, if you haven't done this, please, these are $10 each. Um, I got all these to give Selena the money to help her get through having cancer. I don't know what y'all know about cancer, but I can tell you it takes you out of the workforce many times. And so she had all these CDs that her group did and we just want to pump her up, promote her, pray for her and get her to tomorrow and then the next tomorrow and then the next tomorrow. So. Now, I'm welcoming two pretty strong ladies who, um, one of them, I can feel her knees jerking. <laughs> the other one is just like me. She's just flying by seat of her pants. She's fine. Miss Brenda's just fine. Are you nervous? I am. Why? I just, I, you deal with people at an insurance company every day that probably come in there true. raising cane and cussing yeah, exactly. and catching bits. You can handle live TV. This is true. This is true. <laughs> so anything you've handled at Farmers Insurance is nothing compared to it's going to be so easy here today. So easy. Okay. All right. So we're here to talk about marriage on the rock. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, we often see things go on the rock. Yes. Yeah. And we see problems, and then you work through problems, mm -hmm. and things get better. So y'all are doing something about it. Tell me about it. Yes. So our church, Rock Community Church, is um, having a Marriage on the Rock. It is um, April 22nd, which is a Friday night, and then half a day on April 23rd. Um, it, it is $4 for a couple. Mm -hmm. um, $4. I'm 40. sorry, $40. $40. <laughs> <laughs> okay. $40. But I'm sure that you know um, marriages are constantly um, being attacked, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And that could be with Satan, mm -hmm. it can be the outside world, those type of things. So, mm -hmm. and as you know, divorce rates are extremely high, mm -hmm. probably more so now than they were 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we truly believe that whether you have a good marriage, a rocky marriage, an extremely strong marriage, a weak marriage, a marriage that's in trouble. If you're newly married or wanting to get married, we firmly believe that this event is going to help you get through that. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we also believe that, you know, our greatest accomplishment is to show not only our children, but our grandchildren, how great marriages are, mm -hmm. so that that can be passed on from generation to generation. <coughs> and the only way to do that is through our Lord and Savior, Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. but that's what we're here to talk about. And I'm, I'm thrilled, I'm excited. Um, you know, right now, um, like I said, there, unfortunately there is no childcare that will be available during mm -hmm. those two things. Mm -hmm. um, but we will be having some food, right? Oh yes, oh, yes. Everybody loves food. We'll have mm -hmm. snacks on Friday mm -hmm. afternoon. We'll have snacks there. And then of course, Saturday morning, we will furnish you a, a, a not a full course breakfast, but there will be a breakfast. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we'll serve you lunch. Sherry, the saddest thing right now that it, too that we are, are even considering and, and desperately need this to happen. We have as many divorce mm -hmm. cases coming through the church, the family, the mm -hmm. church family, mm -hmm. as we do the lost world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a problem. Mm -hmm. And it's because it, uh, God had a purpose in a way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The way that he has, his plan is perfect. Mm -hmm. if, we, if we go by God's plan, mm -hmm. there's no mistake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is something that we are bringing in through the church that can start a person that's not married, this considered marriage, that it not be of the flesh, mm -hmm. that it be God founded. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. marriages that, like she says, strong could be examples. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, marriages are having a little bit of trouble. It's for all phases all of, mm -hmm. our phases mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. marriage. You know, years and years ago, I put a call out to our viewers and I said, if you've been married over 60 years, I would love to interview you. And I was so amazed at how many people had been married over 60 years. Mm -hmm. And then I met a couple who'd been married 70 years. Mm -hmm. 
And I was like, wow. And I said, how do you do this? And they said, well, because we work out any problem that arises. Mm -hmm. We don't let the problem end the relationship. We work mm -hmm. out any problem that arises. Mm -hmm. And it could be something very simple. It could be something very stupid. It could be something that is massive and major. I met with a couple and, and this, a lot of people would know who this was, but um, years and years ago, one of my friends said, he's run around on me and da 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 and I'm not putting up with this. And so I spent the day with her and we went and we looked for housing for her. And we came back and she said, well, what do you think I ought to do? I said, go home and work out your marriage. <laughs> Amen. So true. And they've been together now 28 more years. Yep. 28 more years. Yep. But they were ready to because he'd had a fling. Yeah. And it was so crazy because I looked at her and I said, do you still love him? She said, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I said, then what are we doing this for? Mm -hmm. And she said, well, I just can't put up with that. And I said, okay, you just mm -hmm. answered your own question. You still love him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And 28 years later, and he, I might say he bought her a huge, nice ring on the next <laughs> anniversary. <laughs> so, but, but it's about, nobody's perfect. Mm -hmm. I, I used to, I was married 25 years, and I would say, what do you want for supper? And he'd say, let me see the menu. And I said, you know we don't have a menu. <laughs> he said, then why do you ask me what I want for supper? He said, you know I'll eat anything you cook. And I said, well, I know, but I just thought maybe you had something in mind. He said, no, I don't have anything in mind. I'll be hungry and you'll cook. Okay. <laughs> so you learn what works mm -hmm. and you learn, you know, and my husband was an early morning like five o'clock in the morning. Well, if you're in the bed by six, well, you've slept the day away. <laughs> and I'm like, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you adjust to different patterns of life, you know? And I'm like, okay, it's 5.15 and you're up. Shut up, why are you up at 5.15, <laughs> you know? And you yeah. just adjust, yeah. you adjust. And then you make the most of the good times and then mm -hmm. you get through the bad times. Yep, well, my mom always said that you never want to go to bed upset or angry with your spouse because guess what's going to happen the next morning? It's just going to start all over again. Mm -hmm, it's not, mm -hmm. it has not ended. Right, so right. you really have to talk it through. And of course, the number one priority in your marriage is, is the Lord. That has to come first. And then through everything else, then you will be fine. Mm -hmm. As long as you, you know, talk to the Lord as a couple and individually and then praise him for your marriage and, and any troubles that you may have. That's, mm -hmm. that's the key, I think, mm -hmm. in, in marriages. My husband and I have been married 28 years, almost 29. So have we had some troubles? Yeah. yeah we've had some misunderstanding and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we never give up. And that's, unfortunately, that's what, it's too easy today oh, for yeah. people to oh, yeah. throw yeah. in the towel yeah. and give yeah. up their marriages. Yeah. And stuff. yeah. So. Throw it out with a dishwater Absolutely. and be done. And that's mm -hmm. crazy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I, don't, I don't get it. Yep. But. But now, um, when this event, who's going to be speaking at the event? So, um, I believe there are going to be two people that will be speaking. Um, one is our pastor, which is Pastor Rennie Ryder, mm -hmm. and his beautiful wife, Kim, um, will be speaking. I'm not sure if there will be any others, but we'll be breaking out in different sessions. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe yesterday he mentioned there would be about seven sessions that mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. we will be having and stuff like that. And uh, come prepared to have your heart open, mm -hmm. your eyes wide open, and full of fire because mm -hmm. you're going to really kind of, even though you may have a great marriage, <coughs> there may be something that may be presented to you that you've never thought of and, and just come open with an open heart. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. You know, it, it is very strange when I think about those couples that I interviewed. One of them only knew each other two weeks and they mm -hmm. were married 65 years. Wow. Two weeks, two weeks. And then the other one, he said, the moment she walked down the stairs, I said, I'm going to marry that girl. <laughs> and and you know this couple. And um, it was Mary and Grady Anderson. Yes. Um, and yes. he said, he she was walking, I'm getting cold chills thinking oh, about it, but yes. he said, she walked down the steps and he looked and oh. the rest of their life was together. Yes. Oh. And it just, it was precious. It yeah. was precious. Mm -hmm. I did Mary's hair for years. Yes, I and, know. And, and it Zoe. just, and she was such a joy. A gentle soul, if there's ever a gentle mm -hmm. soul. Yeah, and, and their life sadly ended for yes. him health-wise when yes. a drunk caused an accident. Yes. Oh, wow. And he never fully recovered from oh, that. And it's just, mm -hmm. and we have to learn 
stupid little things mm -hmm. like those dummies that were drinking and driving mm -hmm. changed their lives forever, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And this couple who met when she walked down the stairs and he just, he, and I could just see him saying, I saw her mm -hmm. and I just knew, yep. I knew. And yeah, that first sight. Yeah, yeah, oh. mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, can't believe <laughs> oh, how lucky they were to have each yep. other that and long. They both always, always, they were always thinking of the other. Yeah, yeah. God first in their life, mm -hmm. and they considered each other. Mary was always considering him, and Freddie was always considering Mary. Right. Mm -hmm. Always. It was never about their self. It was all about the, each other. Right, right. Yep. What a precious couple. And Bob yes. and Evelyn Blackstone, they, they were the ones that only knew each other two weeks. Mm -hmm. And when she came down with Alzheimer's, it was so crazy. I'd interviewed them in December for their 67th anniversary, I think, 65th, 67th. And, and then in January, he called me and he said, she's not doing well. Mm -hmm. He said, Evelyn has fallen a couple of times and we can't figure it out. She was forgetting how to even step and walk within a month wow. of that. Oh, wow. And then she had full-blown Alzheimer's and it was just, it was so sad, it was so sad. But I always worried about him because not many women do this, but she ironed creases in his blue jeans. <laughs> and I always, he always looked like he walked out of, you know, just mm -hmm. Macy's had just done his outfit. and and and. And then when Evelyn lost her memory, then there was nobody to do those things. Mm. And she was very detailed, very exact, very, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. you know, because that was gone, that yeah. was gone. Mm -hmm. yep. And she sadly passed away and then he did, but you think about two weeks, they knew each mm -hmm. other two weeks and they were together all those years and just the sweetest, and they were from Orlando too. Really? Now we forgot nice. to tell people that we have a, and y'all, I'm sorry. Mm. That's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. But we uh, we have a connection from Orlando, Florida, we which do. is so strange. <laughs> I mean, it's just like. It's a small world. It is such a small world, mm -hmm. and yeah. and you know about my Gabriel Sub Shop, and you know how amazing it is. Yes, and, it is. And it is amazing, and. We are <clears throat> fortunate enough to have lived close to there, and your husband actually went to high school where I would have gone. I was starting Edgewater that fall when mm -hmm. my mother jerked our lives up and moved us back to Atlanta, <laughs> and I'm still a little bit angry. Can you tell it? I'm a little bit mad at my mama. I was like, you're doing what? And she said, well, Coca-Cola bought out Minute Maid, and I have an opportunity to go to work in Atlanta. I said, who cares? <laughs> I don't want to leave Orlando. <laughs> who cares? Well, we did. Well, you wouldn't recognize it now. I know. I have, my yeah. sister still lives there, and I'm like, I want to come see you, but I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that traffic is horrendous. It's yes, yeah. it's awful. And that's so. one of the reasons why we moved Blue Ridge. Is, so. is it? Okay, yeah. now now when you chose a place to come, because mm -hmm. we talk all the time about people who choose to live here. Mm -hmm. Okay, did you just do a map? Because this is how mom and daddy moved from Atlanta to Orlando. They yeah. got a map out of Florida and they just pointed and said, there's where we're going. That's how we ended up in Orlando. So how did no. you choose Blue Ridge? Well, long story short, my folks are from North Carolina, Eastern side, and my husband and I honeymooned here in the mountains in Seville, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And um, we had mutual friends that had taken us up to Blairsville and we fell in love with the Georgia mountains. Mm -hmm. And after I- Kind of easy to do. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then after, we always said we wanted to retire in the mountains. We weren't sure if it was North Carolina mountains, Tennessee mountains or Georgia mountains. But we had, um, after I lost my dad, we we seriously started looking, mm -hmm. and it took us four years to find our forever home here in wow. Blue Ridge. Wow. What took you so long? Well, we were both working and then okay. having to transition, and um, we just didn't find that right house, and our realtor at the time was Nina Collins, um, and so she worked with us for four years, believe wow. it or not. Wow. I know. Wow. Uh, it was amazing, and we developed that friendship <clears> and that <throat> bond and everything, and we Finally, my husband moved up in um, March of 2017, and I moved up here in August of 2017. So. Wow. And no regrets. <laughs> no regrets. No regrets. No regrets. <laughs> no regrets. None. And, but you are seeing change in Blue Ridge. Yes, ma'am. Because ma since you came, 100,000 other people came behind you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and um, I have not been on Old Highway 5, but I understand it is a disaster oh, area. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I understand. Sure, you got to come to the guys. <laughs> I've got to, because Jen was yeah. talking 
talking about it and she said it is truly it's hard. It, yes, it is yeah, so yeah. changing but it is so needed that yes, was so needed most yeah definitely. yeah it was yeah. a dangerous road it was crazy yes. there were head-on collisions mm -hmm. it's 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 a great thing it's and happening and years and yeah. years and years ago whenever i was with working with chamber so we were supposed to took the bypass through mm -hmm. 268 and that didn't happen mm -hmm. but it was needed then, so yeah, we know yeah. now how much more it's needed now. Right. Speaking of that bypass, that and that's what you do when you're going to want to come to the Rock Community Church, uh -huh. which is off of 64. Mm -hmm. It's about two miles east of Ducktown, mm -hmm. headed toward Murphy, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. It'll be on the right-hand side of you. Is it near a barbecue place out there? Uh, it no, used to be a barbecue no, place. No, okay, no, not no, before you get. No, it's before it's, you get to that. Yes. If yeah. you pass Airport Road. Um, you've gone past the church. The church. Okay. We got a lot of signage, so okay. we won't miss it. Yeah. We're on the right-hand side of 64, headed toward <coughs> Murphy. Yep. Two miles out of Ducktown. And why did y'all choose to do this church? How did this start? <laughs> you know what is so strange? Uh, I think it was just God ordained. I, I'm truly within my heart. I mm -hmm. do much needed truth, mm -hmm. gospel mm -hmm. needed in the surrounding area. Mm -hmm. um, and God has blessed us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, when we're obedient to Him, you are not going to do nothing but be blessed. Right, mm -hmm. right. And this, of course, uh, this marriage council is something that's much needed for this area. Mm -hmm. it, it's needed all over the world. Right. But to have the privilege to be able to offer something like this mm -hmm. here in the church, and there will be videos also mm -hmm. uh, associated with the speaking, some testimonies and things that's going to be said and done but uh, we we did this one time before mm -hmm. and, and we, we oh mm -hmm. it was absolutely mm -hmm. the callback mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. much needed it's mm -hmm. much needed mm -hmm. we do have a web if you want to get mm -hmm. onto the website i'm gonna let joni tell you the website <laughs> okay it's uh wwtrc uh, and then rocks all one word with an s at the end dot com you can either register online and pay online, mm -hmm. or you can call um, Sandy at 772-359-7697. We will Where say is this 772 year. number? Florida. Oh, yeah. I started to say, I thought, <laughs> yes. that's what I thought. I yes, had a Florida call is. yesterday. Florida. They, are, they are from Florida. Yeah. yeah. And you talk about a testimony of a couple. It's Jim and Sandy uh, Hallsworth. They are on Campbell Cove for the second time. Oh, God wow. brought them in full wow. circle, yeah. right back. Yeah, they sure. went into well, Ohio, wasn't it? Uh -huh. Then to Florida, then back back to Campbell. The same house they sold and left before. You are he kidding. brought them right back oh to the same gosh. house. There and it wasn't even on the market. Is, yeah, yeah. Was that is awesome. Yes. Yeah. And you know my story with Campbell Cove. I rented a house up there when we did some shows in McKaysville. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Joyce Bryson was telling me the story that she sold all that property. She sold a thousand acres to begin mm -hmm. with, wow. and it was just sitting there and wow. not nothing. And then I went up there. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it's so beautiful. pretty. Yeah. 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 Oh. Well, that is so cool. So again, if people want to be involved and um, give a phone number, have you got a phone yeah. number again? Yes. It's seven seven two three five nine seven six nine seven. If they want to register online, they do that. Uh -huh. And if they, um, are you going to have maximum if you get to a point that you have to cut it off? Well, uh -huh. as long as the Lord keeps sending, <laughs> we'll keep receiving. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, Jerry. I want to say this: the forty dollars. Don't let that be mm -hmm. something to stop you from coming. Yeah. Yeah. Because if if you don't have the forty dollars, come anyway. Right. Go ahead and register. Right. Right, it somebody will take care of that. Most yeah. definitely. Yes. Yes. Most yes. definitely. Yeah. And that's the kind of community we serve. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, that's the kind of community we serve. We knew that when we did the community meal. Amen. And think yes. of my precious David White who would oh, walk yes. in and he would hand me a $100 bill. Mm -hmm. And I'd say, what is that for? And he said, so anybody who comes through the line and doesn't have money oh. can eat. Yeah. Yes. You know, and people would meet me in the grocery store at IGA in McKaysville and they would hand me a $100 bill and they'd say, we know you'll buy what meat's on sale and yes. you'll cook it next week. And I absolutely, and, did. and those are the communities that we serve. And, mm -hmm. and I said, that is what is such a blessing. You landed here, yes. I landed here, you know, um, it, it's so crazy because we don't really know what the plan is, mm -hmm. but once Amen. it comes together, we're like, really, I mm -hmm. never saw this coming, so. I think the community is totally different here than obviously 
in Orlando or wherever, mm -hmm. um, it's a pretty close knit and you take care of your neighbors, yes. your church family, those type right. of individuals. Right. You know, if you called me today and said, Joni, I need help, I'm going to be there for you. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's just totally different, you know, any place else. So this has definitely got a special place in my heart. I had a friend ask me, are you ever tired of the mountains? And I went, are you no. crazy? <laughs> Are you crazy? I mean, just look at them every day. Yeah. And that is what the Lord had given us and built us and mm -hmm. provided us and blessed us with. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, tell me about the church as far as regular hours, Sunday school. What do you do? Okay. We, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. We do church. We start at 10 o'clock. Uh -huh. We do not do Sunday school. Here's why. We have what we call journey groups mm -hmm. after church all during the week at different homes mm -hmm. you know the lord broke bread in homes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and sherry i'm going to give you for an example even in using you as an example you're mm -hmm. not going to come to church stand up in church and tell of the needs that you need mm -hmm. or tell of your heart or your hurts right and anger issues but you will do it in a private setting right where you know you're comfortable and that right. there's people just listening with a heart mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, you will share those mm -hmm. and that's the reason the Lord went from home to home he knew mm -hmm. when he went from home to home he got a personal amen this kind of sounds like I'm, I'm trying to think of um, Kenny who came on and he's written the book that his wife Kay is the paraplegic or the quadriplegic yes did you see that show I, you know, I was having a bad day. I was just uh -huh. having a bad day, and I came in, I got this package, and I opened it, and it's from this guy, Kenny, and he's written this book, and his name's Kenny Cortez, and I'm like, okay. And I look, and then I start reading it, and then I start bawling, and then I look at my co-host, Paul Kiker, and I, he starts bawling, because he's reading it. They'd been married 50 years, and she had a medical procedure that went bad, and she's now quadriplegic, mm -hmm. and he's her full-time caregiver. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I'm thinking, I've had a bad day? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. And and so they have church at his home. Yes. And they have a group that comes there because he wanted people to meet his K. Mm -hmm. And so she's there in the bed and laying there. and But he wanted people to meet her. Exactly. Because they are still, mm -hmm. he's still caring for her after all this mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's exactly the situation is. you're yes. talking about because yes. you can't load her up and take her to church but you can bring a group of people from yeah. the church to meet yeah. her hey. so we isn't that have, awesome yes we do have little rock daring um, services for our little ones um, mm -hmm. so they come out um, for example yesterday um, our pastor's grandson came out with the shield of armor on his grandson and it was just so cute to see them those young kids just learning and knowing about mm -hmm. the lord mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. and then we have women's bible on study we, on Wednesday nights at 6.30. We socialize, we have a little dessert, and then we start at seven o'clock, and we're on uh, James chapter four this week, so. Mm -hmm. Yes, we yep. take chapter by chapter. Yep, mm -hmm. then we have there discussion and- We let God her. do the talking. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> How many of y'all have walked in church <clears throat> and you're listening to the message and you go, oh my gosh, he knows what happened at my house this week. Does the Bible do that? I mean, does the Bible seriously follow us around? Because I have seen Matt Dibler was the worst. And, and he would be preaching and I would be, and after church I'd say, <laughs> what is going, what's going on? I want to tell you something, including this one right here. And so we had the women in church that we, when we meet on Wednesday night, they for the longest, and I don't know where they still got it in their head, they think during the time during the week that uh, the mother's having conversation with the pastor because he'd bring oh, up that's pastor. funny. That's funny. <laughs> and I promise we, don't, oh, yeah, we, we do just, not. That's uh, incredible. We're thinking, did you say something? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because no, the no, message no. would be something that would no, intake. No. Yep. Yeah. But God yeah. knows our needs. Yep, yeah, yes. absolutely. Yep. Do y'all have a favorite Bible verse of strength? Um, there's just so many. Mine definitely is. Proverbs 36. I was going to say hers is Proverbs. So uh -huh. I just, I just love every See word. that one? Love never, never fails. fails. And it doesn't. Love never fails. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I, <clears throat> I've had that a long time. But it seems like it's more appropriate than ever now because somebody somewhere is hurting and all you have to do is love them and, yes. and love won't fail. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll well, tell God you one gave that, us yeah. agape love. I mean, yeah. He loves mm -hmm. us. Right. When our so pastor has uh, 
<coughs> yesterday mm -hmm. he brought it up again. His one of his favorites one is Matthew three thirty three, and seek ye first the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he prayed that they prayed that over their children mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. every day. And you know when you read that scripture, if we put God first in our life, Sherry, mm -hmm. all of these other things will be added. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He never fails, mm -hmm. you know. But first, we got to seek Him. We can't mm -hmm. be our own little God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was the message yesterday. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And how many times have we prayed and asked for something and said, "I'm in a hurry, Lord." Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't do I that. I always wanted to help the Lord out. <laughs> hey, Lord, I know you're busy today, so I'll go ahead and take care of this one. <laughs> and I want to remind y'all again. Please say a special prayer today yes. for Selena. Yes. Um, I hope that today is going to make her stronger and stronger, stronger, stronger. And don't forget Robin's Nest florist down in Jasper has the CDs and Deb's Bakery has them. And we have a few left at Laura Mays so in Ball Ground. So please pick up a CD. They're $10 each. And it is a way for us to lift her as she battles. Um, she's fighting for her life. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. we want her to be here to ra raise and rock and play ball with those grandbabies. And uh, yeah, we're going to pray for Selena. And we're going to pray Selena strong. This is my, and it, it is so, I, I look at it many, many times during the day, but it says Selena Strong, and then it says a pancreatic cancer awareness, and pancreatic cancer is one of those that is a vicious, vicious cancer. We're going to pray it out of her. So mm -hmm. please put her on the prayer list at church. Most definitely. For sure. Most and um, Selena is a very special lady, and she has sung for the Lord and of the Lord for many, many years. Mm -hmm. and. We want her to um, see his blessings to come yes. through prayer. Amen. So thank you and so much. And she's dependent on the Lord. She is. And that's she what, is. And that's what matters. <coughs> and that's again, y'all don't forget Marriage on the Rock. This is Friday, April 22nd. And phone number to call if you want to register is 772-359-7697. You know, you made it through this. I did. <laughs> <laughs> she was a nervous wreck. <laughs> she was a nervous wreck, yeah. <laughs> the only thing that would have made it better was Gabriel Sub sitting here. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that would have made it better. So Maybe next time. Yeah, yeah that maybe point. next time. You know, <clears throat> we are so beyond blessed mm -hmm. to be serving communities that have groups of people who will help each other. I remember the first time I spoke in McKaysville and we were talking about battered and abused and this and that. And a lady came up from the back of the group after I finished and she said, you just told my life story. And I had always admired her and thought that she was so beautiful and so together and so with it. She was working in corporate America. She made tons of money. She was very successful, but for 27 years, she was in a violent, abusive relationship. Abusive. Wow. <clears throat> so we never know what that woman we see every day is yeah, facing. No, we don't. No. But there are some who go behind closed doors and um, live a life of terror, and we yes. have to be good to all of them. Yes. So, um, so remember, each and every woman who is out there fighting, each and every man who's out there fighting a battle, say a prayer that um, the strength of the Lord will get you through it. Absolutely. Yep. yep. Thank yeah. you, ladies, for being you. here today. It's been a joy. And yes. I want to remind y'all, check us out on YouTube. You can go to Sherry Martin, and that's the one that gets the newest programs. This program will be downloaded on there. And then Sherry Martin 2009, which has a bunch of the oldies on it. And then Sherry Martin, Heart of the Home, because Sherry Martin forgot the password to Sherry Martin. <laughs> she had to change it to add some new programs to that. But if you... You know, if you think about what we can do for each other, one of the things that, and my sister says it all the time, she said, listen, we go to a big Baptist church and we're praying and we're praying. Big numbers are heard and we oh, like yeah, for those yeah. big numbers to yeah. be heard. So, but yeah. Even so, God still hears that one that small, one still voice. That one small, still voice. That's and right. And maybe you might be someone that's, that is single or uh, has lost your spouse. And if you feel that you know a couple, hey, put them on to this. Mm -hmm. We just, mm -hmm. you know, whoever, Sherry. Well, Absolutely. Absolutely. We Thank never you. know. Just like you said, we never, we never know. know what we're mm -hmm. facing. Thank you so much, yes. ladies. Thank you. Yes. All right, awesome. time to get out of here, guys. I will see you again soon, only on ETC.